good morning y'all and welcome to another video i can't even say welcome back to another video because i haven't been posted consistently you know what i'm saying i just post when i'm led and so i felt led on this good thursday to take y'all through a little day in the life with me and so i hope y'all enjoy it Alright y'all, I just got my water and now we're about to get into this Mr. and Mrs. Muscle guided workout series that they got on YouTube. I'm doing it at home, but I definitely have taken this to the gym. Also, I was out of frame the entire time I tried to record some of me working out, so y'all just gonna get random snippets. Um, but anyways, enjoy. I'll be back to talk to y'all in like two seconds. With y'all, Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect to high at 103 degrees. It's 75 degrees outside, which means I want to go sit on the balcony. So, normally, after I work out, I would go straight to the shower. Y'all hear or y'all saw that I put on a video, um, but I usually go straight to the shower, get ready, do all of that stuff, and then come out here and make my breakfast. But living in Texas, you gotta be smarter than the weather, cause it gets, it, the high is like 103, I think. So I'm gonna make my breakfast and go sit outside and enjoy it. I make some oatmeal and tea, cause that's what I'm in the mood for. So I'm gonna give myself what I'm in the mood for. Um, but some oatmeal and some tea. And I'm gonna sit outside and I know there's a breeze because it's 75 degrees. Like, yeah, because it's always 100 degrees here. Like it's seven something, 736. Usually by this time, my bad, I keep looking over this way, but usually by this time, it's like 85 degrees. I Y'all, I kid you not, I woke up one morning at like 5 a.m. and she was like, it's 81 degrees outside. Why? Why? Why is it that hot? Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep playing this video, make some breakfast and some tea, and then go sit outside, and then we'll get ready. Ooh, it didn't wanna, it didn't wanna cut off. Hallelujah. <laughs>
I just finished enjoying breakfast, enjoying my video, tea, sitting outside, all of that. Now we're about to get ready for the day. I'm also gonna throw in um, a little self-care day and that's just me steaming my face, putting on a face mask. I did not show y'all the products that I use for anything. So I'll show y'all in another video because I know I mentioned it at the end of like, oh, I don't want to show y'all my, my skincare routine because y'all already seen it this morning. Burly because the camera cut off. <laughs> but I'll show y'all another time. Anyways, just, you know, keep vibing. studying for my exam already went off but I got a phone call from a friend that I had to answer really quick but okay let me make it wider so that y'all can see it real quick you know how you be ready to show somebody something in your phone or computer go to add the note that's this anyways what I was trying to show y'all I love that that's there let me y'all I really do like this app I feel like it really does help keep me on task. Even though right now, I'm 17 minutes behind schedule. That's okay. But okay, I hope y'all can see this. So when you, okay, hey Kamar. So when you click on this, you can click focus now and it'll turn it into literally your time of whatever you have it titled, right? I love that because then you see the blue at the top, it's gonna fill up all blue once you finish. I just like the creativity that they put behind this thank you this app or whatever anyways um i shall text her back really quick but i just don't put it on full screen because i have to use my computer while i study but i do put it like off to the side just like low-key the countdown be helping me like oh girl you got this the time is going you got this so i'm going to study I'm getting sleepy already. <laughs> it's not the music. I'm just studying a lot later. Like, yeah, usually I would finish studying by right now, but I've just started, so I'm like so sleepy. Like, 
to help wake me up a little bit. I'm pausing that song. Tell me wake up a wake up a little bit. I'm gonna talk to y'all <laughs> while I copy this question now, just really quick. But I will say, I started praying to God right over my productivity this week, and a couple of girls from my life group, you know, the church that I go to, um, you know, was like, "Yeah, we trying to wake up earlier." Uh, some of them is specifically to read the word. I'm trying to wake up earlier, one, yes, to read the word, but also I just operate and thrive better when I wake up earlier. Like, I'm a morning person more than a night person, even though I was being a night person the last couple of months. I'm a morning person, so I need I need my day to start earlier on because that's when I'm like most productive or like I function the best, I guess you could say. Um but I literally started doing that and then I started praying to God about my productivity. Y'all, we on day number four. But it's been three days of me completing everything on my, like, the structured app. Like, everything I have listed down. Three days of me, like, th sorry, three days of me literally, um, I need to stop saying literally. <laughs> This is how my mind worked up. But three days, y'all, me getting everything done that I need to be done. currently on lunch break why did what made me think this was anyways as you see lunch break has started got 50 minutes left and that's great and that's before i have my meeting at two o'clock slash work really quick and my little notebook this is my study tracker I'm trying to hold myself accountable I was supposed to be alternating between like pink and purple, but <laughs> I did not. Oops. <laughs> Okay, if you can't tell by the sweatshirt, got this from my grandmama. She probably had this before I was even thought of, even born. Um, but I want to share something small that I have, um, that God has been continuously reminding me of this week in particular. Um, it was like three times in one day. I was like, okay, God, I hear you loud and clear. Um, and so the thing that I feel like God has been, or not even feel, I know God has been showing me and talking to me about is learning the character of God. And every time you go to pick this one up, and that's the Bible, when you go to pick this one up, me having to think about the character of God, it changes the way I read it, right? Um, and previously, um, I guess I'll share this part too. Previously, when I would read the Bible, 
it was always like self-centered of like, okay, what does this say about me? How can I apply this to me, right? And while that's fine in some instances, I was doing it every single time I went to go read the Bible. Like it didn't matter what book of the Bible I was going through. It was like, okay, how do I apply this to my life? What does this mean for me? Versus um, Aisa, she had found this Bible study. I done forgot the lady name. Is it on here? Y'all, I forgot the lady name. But she was telling me that the Bible study that she started doing with this uh, particular woman, um, she always asks you, what does the Bible say about God, right? What does it say about the character of God? And so I feel like that was the first introduction from God through his people of showing me personally what the character of God says and just learning more about the character of God. And so this week, on Monday, when I got up to spend time with God, um, I, you know, went to go sit down. And as I'm, you know, praying and talking to God, God, you know, he tells me, he's like, okay. Um, he was like, after you read, whatever it is, whether it's in like a Bible study, whether I'm doing like, you know, like books in the Bible on my own, whatever it may be, a plan on like that, what is it, Bible you? Not Bible you, but like the Bible app on your phone. Even if I'm doing a plan and stuff like that, God was like, once you read that, ask about what character of God was revealed today to me, right? So in that book, in that scripture, in that passage, what character of God was revealed? And then God was like, um, because I'm in a season of learning how to trust God um, in everything, he also asked me, he was like, knowing this, why would I trust God? Hello, because hello. Like, yes, come on, God, come on, God, come on, God. Holy Spirit, fill us up. Um, and so for this week, I have... Um, when I asked myself what character of God was revered today, um, on Tuesday, it was the righteousness of God, right? And then today, I think I did the gentleness of God, depending on what past, yeah, the gentle nature of God. Um, and so I feel like just being able to see God is gentle, God is righteous. Uh, last week, I remember saying like the character of God that I've seen was his, that God is intentional. And you know, and in that Bible study that I used to have shared, it asks you the question like, hold on, let me look real quick. Boo -boo. It asks you the question, knowing that God is blank shows me that I am blank. And so last week I had put it, knowing that God is intentional shows me that I am loved, right? And so just like overall, reading the word, um, talking about the word with other people and just seeing how God is revealed through his word um, has been <laughs> low-key life-changing. Like, it's been different to be able to see that because now for me, when I see the character of God, I trust him that much more, right? So if, for instance, I'll use the intentional one, knowing that God is intentional shows me that I am loved, I'm like, yeah, when people are intentional with me, they're intentional with their time with me, they're intentional with how they talk to me, they're intentional with just me being in their life, I love them. Like, my mom is intentional with me, my best friend, my sister Tony, like, all these different people, they're intentional with me being in their lives. And it's like, but wait a minute, let's not even look at the creation of God, right? But let's look at the creator. If the creator is intentional, and that shows me that I am loved, I can trust that. I can trust him because you're not going to trust people you're not really loving on. Or <laughs> that probably sounded weird. But you're not going to trust people that that you don't feel loved from. You know what I'm saying? But when you feel their love, whether you've known them for a long time or not, when you feel their love, you trust them. And so all of that, I don't know, when I just think about God, I'm like, wow, God you is that God. <laughs> like you was good. You was amazing. And I love you. Let me never stop loving you. What does they say? Set your mind on things above. Let me never stop setting my mind on God because wow. But anyways, yeah. So that's all I really wanted to share with y'all is that like next time you go to pick up that Bible and I hope y'all picking up your Bible, be in that word. Cause a one pastor was like, you can't hear God speaking to you if this is closed. Because look at y'all, look, all of these pages of God's word, God ain't doing nothing but speaking, okay? Um, but every time you speak to God or 
in his word or even if you're watching sermons think about the character of god low-key i feel like it just changes everything and it in it yeah it just changes everything i was i felt like i was gonna say something but then it would have led to another tangent so we're not gonna go there okay y'all i went to sleep i like went to sleep for like 30 ish minutes that headache she was booming right and i was like oh let me just grab my laptop and just lay down maybe that'll help no i had to actually go to sleep again because that y'all know that headache that make your whole body sick Woo! I had one of them, and even now, cause I like, uh, you know, you ever like joke your like not joke, <laughs> like joke yourself awake, like you started yourself awake, cause it's like, oh my god, why am I sleeping? Something's happening. I need to be doing something. That was me just now, and luckily I did, cause it's about to be six o'clock, and I gotta go. Anyways, um. I shall show y'all what I do for work later. Like, I'll give a little snippet, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, anyways, I'm just packing my bag. Let me go grip my, can y'all even see me? I don't even know. I'm packing my bag. I'm gonna go grab a sweater to throw in here cause it'd be cold. It'd be cold. Um, and then, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel so dazed and confused. I feel so dazed and confused. I don't even know my right from my left. and I usually start prepping for bed at 8 30 but I never gave y'all a glimpse of like what I do I had my meeting today um but for my job I like help with the nutrition education pieces um because this is community nutrition and so I'll show y'all like the more recent one I just made all right let me show y'all so this is y'all know that structure but this is uh what i like make so i do like veggie highlights so this one's about spinach can i zoom you on a little bit this is about spinach then we'll have a spanish version and then i just um we had some information on like dairy and non-dairy options i just kind of add it to it make it look real nice and stuff and then we'll have like a recipe to go with it so that's basically what i do <laughs> From home, I add this information, I reformat it, um, just like all of those like different things. Um, and then like I had a meeting and then I'm almost finished with these packets. So then I'll be transitioning in to helping like with workshops, I guess, or curriculum. We still trying to figure that out. But that's basically what I do. I feel like it's very simple, but it's a lot of like details, um, you know, making it look nice, all of that stuff. So let's look at structure since I got y'all here. Cause we finna end the video, okay? Cause I'm just gonna get ready for bed. But over here, structure. That was last week. Come on, girly, catch up. All right, and it's Thursday. I don't know why it jumps to Tuesday. I didn't need to fix that. But everything is now checked off. Bible study. Look, look, my wind down. Hold on, look. My wind down for bedtime. Technically got 11 minutes left, but that's okay. Um, that's all that I have for y'all in this video. A little spend the day with me, working from home. Um, just like little stuff that I do throughout the day. And then I hope y'all enjoy my little productivity rant. Um, a little talk about the character of God. And 
if y'all made it this far hope y'all did but if you did y'all should comment below what's a character a characteristic of god that you've seen this week month year something that god has just been showing you this year um about who he is and i would love to read it and respond in the comments below i thought about showing y'all my night routine i'm not going to because the same as morning routine um and i really want to get to bed so that's all that i have for y'all um i hope y'all tune into the next video bye we about to go to bed we about to we about to go to bed every day is like a holiday sleeping